y'all hear that? That's what I gotta fix. I was trying to figure out which tire it came out of. And sounds like that is the front driver's side. Okay, so what we basically did was by using that water bottle, let the uh, the air. Sorry, I wasn't planning on working over here. Uh, get pumped out of the brakes. Had her in there and just pumped the brakes and watched the fluid come out. And you can see the air pockets coming through. I don't know if it came up on camera. Again, this isn't really a how-to. It's an auto vlog. But she pumped it and pumped it and pumped it until I got a steady stream. A little bit different than what I've seen online because usually these guys do it and it's just clean. 
Well, we kept doing it and doing it and I couldn't see any more air. The uh, pedal is very uh, stiff, so I do have brake pressure in the lines. I'm gonna check to make sure the master cylinder is not low. I got some more brake fluid put in there. And basically I'm gonna do that all over again on this side, except over here, we gotta pull the rotor and do the caliper as well. So round two. So the thing that's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt with changing this rotor out is we're gonna have to uh, pull the inner and outer wheel bearings. It's not really that hard, it's just, man, it's messy. And we're gonna replace this rotor. Um, I think that's best because that other one over there was like, it's less than 400 miles on it. They only had one when I had to do it. If we're gonna do everything, we're gonna do it all. So by the time this is done, it'll have two new brake rotors and two new calipers. And the brake pads are like brand new because I just did that job too. Uh, I know it's getting dark, so I'm gonna try to get to this. These things are pretty easy to take off because all we gotta do is take this cotter pin out, pull it up. This is basically just a slider that comes off, unloosen this nut and the whole rotor assembly will come off obviously we have to take the caliper off which is nothing beyond these pins that i had to knock out last time once that comes off we'll make sure to spray the new one down with some brake clean because we don't want any of that wax or whatever's on there to be getting on the brakes and then we'll just mount it and then pin up the uh, caliper and be done with it i'm not looking forward to doing that. i gotta do this right now though because it's gonna rain for the next day and a half so Let's get going on this. So guess what we don't have bearings these bearings i'm about to use are only a few months old so unless i really messed up something taking off this rotor they should be fine i'm gonna clean them up repack them try to repurpose them we'll see all right so right now i'm gonna get a little brake clean and just start cleaning these parts off and it's just you know let's do this
<laughs> That's awesome. Well, so that ended up being a little bit of an adventure with the old 92 F-150. Uh, wasn't too bad of a job. The only other thing I want to add as I clip through this, when I did this job, there was actually one tool that I kind of thought was cool. So the, the brake line is bolted in with the 14 millimeter uh, bolt. That banjo bolt is 14 millimeter head, right? Uh, it actually gave me an opportunity to use something that I kind of been watching on on YouTube, a lot of these guys are talking about uh, there's a Harbor Freight tool of all things that is really nice. It's an it's Icon brand. And I went there the other day and picked up a, uh, a quarter inch ratchet, a 90 tooth quarter inch ratchet. They have quarter, three eighths and half. Uh, I'm pretty much pretty good on my half inch. I didn't feel like investing that. They're $35, and I said, we know it. I've seen some good things. I'm going to try it out. It's actually the Flex Head. Uh, they have comfort grips, stubbies, mediums, or regulars, and long in each size, although the 3 8 is on recall right now. But this uh, quarter inch and half inch is good. They had one there, $35 for this thing. And my God, this thing is a really, really nice ratchet. Uh, it's a 90 tooth, and... Um, for a Harbor Freight tool, I will say this, man, go check them out um, or look at some reviews on YouTube, but these are actually really nice. I, I enjoyed using this. Um, when the 3 8 comes back out, I could easily see myself investing in a, a little set of these because because I have quarter in metric and standard, deep and shallows, same thing with half. Um, I have no 3 8 sets for the price i could probably get away for a hundred dollars with a nice little set of of icon brand um they're engraved i'm hoping that's picking it up adjustable and they feel sturdy they really do um i was really impressed with this i'm not a harbor freight guy by any means but uh, they kind of got me with some of their ad work definitely worth a shot though they even use to be honest I don't use snap-on but this is supposed to be the snap-on competitor at this point for average Joe's they even use the same kind of um, packaging so there must be going hard on them other than that that's it for today this is First thing, finally, after working a turnaround, get some days off, knock that out. It took forever to get to it. Had so many other things going on today at the house. Um, ran out of light. Apologize, but, you know, it is what it is. I had fun doing it for the most part. And uh, hopefully we'll make some more stuff that'll be fun. Other than that, that's all I got for today, fellas. And uh, if you watched it all the way through, thank you. And uh, hopefully... Some new people will swing by and subscribe because this is the kind of stuff I'm going to keep doing. Um, appreciate it, and I'll catch you all next time.